Hi everyone! In this video, I will give an intuitive explanation of the famous Black Scholes formulas used to price European call and put options. European calls and puts have a closed form pricing formula in the Black Scholes model. Let's forget the maths and the formulas for a moment and go back to the payoff of a call option. The buyer of a European call option has the right to buy the underlying asset S at a given price K, the strike price of the option, at a given date T, the maturity of the option. The payoff of a European call option C is a maximum between 0 and ST minus K. This payoff can be decomposed as a sum of two different payoffs. C1, which is equal to ST if the option is exercised, i.e if ST is higher than K, and 0 otherwise, and C2, which is equal to minus K if the option is exercised, and it is equal to 0 otherwise. Let's focus first on the first payoff, C1. Its expected value is equal to the probability that the option will be exercised times the expected value of the stock price conditionally to the fact that the option is exercised so conditionally to the fact that the stock is above the strike price at maturity. It is equal to the probability that ST is higher than K times the expectation of ST knowing that ST is higher than K. Let's have now a look at the second payoff. Its expected value is simply the probability that the option will be exercised times minus the strike price. So it is equal to the probability to have ST higher than K at maturity times minus K, with K the strike price. And so the expected value of the call option is equal to the sum of the expected values of the two payoffs. We will come back to this a bit later. In Black Scholes model, under the risk neutral probability Q, the stock price follows a geometric Brownian motion process, the drift being equal to the risk free interest rate, and sigma is the volatility of the stock price. The solution of this equation has the following expression The probability that the option will be exercised is the probability to have at maturity ST higher than K. After rearranging a bit the formula, it is equal to the probability of W1Q to be lower than the log of ST over K plus R minus half the square of sigma times capital T minus T. All of this divided by sigma times the square root of capital T minus T. W1Q follows the standard normal distribution. And the second term is nothing else than D2 in the Black Scholes formula. So the probability that the option will be exercised is equal to n of D2 with n the cumulative distribution function of a normal distribution. The explanation of n of D1 is a bit more complex. D1 is equal to D2 plus sigma times the square root of capital T minus T. So n of d1 is higher than n of d2. In addition to the probability of being exercised, n of d1 incorporates by how far the option can be in the money. The higher the volatility of the stock price or the time to maturity of the option, the more the option can be deep in the money and the higher is the difference between n of d1 and n of d2. Let's go back to our decomposition of the payoff of the option in two different parts. For the second one, the expected value is equal to the probability that the option will be exercised times minus the strike price. So it is equal to n of d2 times minus k. For the first one, the expected value is equal to the probability that the option will be exercised times the expected value of the stock price if the stock price is above the strike price. So it is equal to n of d2 times the expectation of st conditional to st higher than k. The expectation of st knowing that st is higher than k is higher than the expectation of st. So the expected value of the payoff 1 is higher than 
n of d2 times st times the exponential of r times capital T minus t. And actually, it is equal to n of d1 times st times the exponential of r times capital T minus t. n of d1 corresponds to the part of the future stock price in the states in which the option is exercised. So the expected value of the call option is equal to the sum of the two. And we multiply it by the discounted factor in order to get the present value. And by doing that, we obtain the Black-Scholes formula for European call options. Thank you for your time.